Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. Probably the peak of my existence, maybe, not to be dramatic. It is the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. If for some reason this is your first time seeing me, I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies. I'll give you a preview review for what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it of course, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did I stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on my personal preference, and what the hell do I know? And if you're new here, then you probably don't know. I have this really weird, um, obsession. Like if he were still alive, I would say I'm in love with him with Gene Wilder. I know he's as dead as a door now, but I think Gene Wilder was a brilliant actor. And so of course, naturally, when y'all found out that I love Gene Wilder, everybody started saying I had to watch the original Willy Wonka. I have seen the memes, uh, or the meme of like him like this, and it's usually some kind of like smart ass comment, like you don't say. So let's just get right into the preview view. I know Gene Wil I know Gene Wilder is in it, um, so automatically here for it. I know just from growing up, I know there's those little um, oompa loompa goopa dee dee. My mom used to sing that all the time. I feel like she used it in her kindergarten class for some reason. Anyways, and then so you get those little guys who I'm guessing are like his minions or something. I know it has to do with a contest, the golden ticket. I don't know why the minions sing so much. I mean, I'm here for it. I love a good musical. Does Gene Wilder sing in this? Does he sing in this? Oh my god, if he sings in this, this is gonna be great. Oh, doesn't somebody turn into like a raspberry or a blueberry or something? That's all I really know. I'm just really excited about Gene Wilder. I feel like it's been a hot second since I've seen Gene, so I want to get right into this Millennial Movie Monday, which is the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Y'all wanna know something? Blake Stevens does not like chocolate. Starring Gene Wilder, very excited to see one of my future ex-husbands again. So Hubbard doesn't like chocolate. He will eat chocolate if it's like um, a Reese's, and if you say Reese's, then you're wrong and ew. But the Reese's, he likes like zero bars, but like he doesn't necessarily like chocolate chip cookies. He doesn't eat like Hershey's straight up chocolate bars. Y'all didn't ask for my husband's uh, preferences and dessert, but there you go. But then again, he likes carrot cake, so I picked a weird one. A pure imagination! Oh, I didn't know that was this movie! I didn't know this was a book. Are we surprised when I say that anymore? Absolutely not. I saw Mel and I automatically assumed it was Mel Brooks. <laughs> I would give anything to go to one of these old school candy shops. You know what I mean? Like, that, it just doesn't exist anymore. I think they're really cool. Scrum Bibliumptions Bar. Scrum Is that real? That's this song! That's this movie! Sprinkle it with do. You wanna know something? Now that I'm sitting here watching this, I feel like it's unlocked a memory that maybe I used to watch this at Mammy's house. Cause how else would I know all these songs? See, how are they gonna serve these kind of candies in the 60s and then wonder about the acid trips in the 70s? You can't do that. Sir, how much money are you losing by just giving out this candy for free? Why do I feel like I need to follow this up with the horror movie, Candyman? That boy didn't watch that man give out all that candy for free and he's just gonna calmly walk away. Charlie, you're late. Payday, Mr. Joe Peck. Well, you shouldn't be late. Oh, well, that is fun. Okay, why do you have butcher knives on your cart? Not enough hours in the day. The four, four people fit in that bed? Dad, in all the years you've been saying you're going to get out of that bed. All the years you said you're going to get out of that bed? These four people have been in the same bed for years? Grandma Georgina. Uh. George and Georgina. Grandpa Joseph. Grandpa Joe. <laughs> Joe. Short in front of, form of Joseph, so it's fine. This. Charlie, where'd you get that? A loaf of bread. It's my first payday. Good for you. And he bought it to buy a loaf of bread for his family. I'm gonna cry. From now on, I'm going to pay for your tobacco. No, I would not. Okay, but what about your other grandparents' vices? Why aren't you helping them? I think he was a tinker. He 
He was standing right behind me, looking up at the fact. He was a tinker. What does that mean? Dressed as workers to steal Mr. Wonka's oh. secret recipes. You know what? I don't blame him for locking it down either. Thousands must be helping him. But who? How'd they get in there? Special mixture of my own. Together, it's horrible. Chemical X. Are we making the Powerpuff Girls? If you knew and I didn't know, then you'd be teaching me instead of me teaching you. What is the purpose of this, sir? Hey. Class dismissed! Oh, no, it's <laughs> Class undismissed. He said, aww. Find him! Class re dismissed! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is monumental. I don't blame him for canceling class. A lifetime supply of chocolate. Nice. He'll sell a million bars. Oh, yeah, this is a great marketing tactic. Whoever's on his PR team. I'm sorry, is that the White House? We watch and wait. Who was the president at the time, and why is our taxpayer money going to Wonka bars? But I dreamed the Archangel appeared and whispered into my ear and told me where to find a golden Wonka ticket. Okay, yeah, that's a little crazy, but all right. Just shut up, offsetter, and tell me where the ticket is. <laughs> all of a sudden, he's not insane. He needs the insight. It was found in the small town of Duselheim, Germany. Wow, so this wasn't just America, this was everywhere. For the attention of the entire world. For I love how he's standing there. It looks like the antlers are coming out of his head. Fame of Western Germany. Is he really that big of a deal? Well, I guess so. He just found one of the only five golden tickets. Feel sorry for Wonka. It's gonna cost him a fortune in fetch. <laughs> because he's hungry. What is he whispering about? That was weird. Grandma Georgina, Grandma Josephine, and me. I d That's so special. It's not fair to raise his hopes. Never mind. Go on, open the truck. But he could have it. I got it! Where? 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 Really? Really? Told you, didn't I? You thought I really had it. Balls. Ugh. Poop you, kid. I Somebody bought all that? What a waste. All right, where is it? Why haven't they found it? Ah, oh, she's real pleasant. They don't want to find it. They're jealous of me. Sweet. Oh, she's going to be awful this entire movie. I got it! It was all here Wow. Good for her. I'm more happy for the woman who found the ticket because she gets a raise, not really the kid for going because she's awful. Okay, so this was the same guy who was just whispering to the kid in Germany. So who is he and why is he whispering? Our new shipments are being sent to different points around the globe. Ah, oh, that's so stressful. Based on the revolutionary Computonian law of probability... Ah, uh, yes. I won't tell. That would be cheating. You have officially created a science that is way too smart and is clearly becoming self-aware. If it will tell me the correct answer, I will gladly share with it. It's a computer. It doesn't give a shit about the grand prize. What would a computer do with a lifetime supply of chocolate? <laughs> Called that one. I am now telling the computer exactly what he can do with a lifetime supply of chocolate. Shove it right where the sun don't shine. Politician, a great civic leader, a I friend, Sam Boringer. You know what? He saw an opportunity and he took it, and I don't blame him one bit. I chew it all day except at mealtimes when I stick it behind my ear. Violet. Ooh, she sticks it behind her ear? Disgusting. Chewing on for three months solid, and that's a world record. Three months? I chewed a stick of juicy fruit one time for like ten minutes, and it dissolved in my mouth. Well, why don't you stay a minute? Here, pull up a pile of clothes and sit down. Okay, his mom is like super sweet. I really like her. You know what's absolutely yeah. wild to me? In the grand scheme of history, like this kind of clothes washing isn't really that far away from present day. Like, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> just two. Pretty soon, just one. And that's how math works, folks. There are a hundred billion people in this world and only- A hundred billion? It's a little off, ma'am. One day things will change. When? When will they change? Waiting on a world to change. I wasn't ready for her to just bust out in song. Her and Grandpa Joe can make his troubles go away. The man won't get out of bed. What's he gonna do? I understand this is being used as a segue to let us know that things are gonna start looking up soon. You know, it's like foreshadowing. It's just a very interesting song, that's all. Ah, oh, she has such a... Ah, oh, her voice feels like a warm hug. Hey Mike, do you think we might shut that thing off? Oh, are you crazy? <laughs> He's very in it. You like the killings, huh? What do you think life's all about? Killing? Is that kid gonna be okay? We must remember there are many more important things. More important than a lifetime supply of chocolate? Offhand, I can't think of what they are, but I'm... Exactly. <laughs> that money was for tobacco. I told you, Charlie, I've given it up. Oh, that's so sweet. I got a funny feeling inside. I'm so nervous.
why do I kind of want to cry? I bet those golden tickets make the chocolate taste terrible. That's the attitude to have, buddy. Not the attitude I would have, but that's a good one. Shall we start the bidding at 1,000 pounds? I don't know the conversion weight. I don't know the conversion rate, but uh, that sounds like a lot. 5,000 pounds! Your Majesty! The Queen? I feel like she could just call up Willie and be like, hey, yo, man, I need one of them golden tickets. Whatever it is, they can have it. They want your case of Wonka bars. <laughs> is it worth your husband? Is your husband worth it? It's your husband's life or your case of Wonka bars. Let her think about it. How long will it give me to think it over? <laughs> For all you will. Oh, that's that. Why didn't they interview him if he really found it? Oh, my heart. Percent. Everyone understand? <laughs> me either. Do not make me do math, my guy. Just two. Two? Oh, don't make fun of him. He has a different life at home. Why does that car have three headlights? Why don't you try for a chocolate bar? Well, okay, all the tickets have been found, sorry. Oh, that I... means there's one golden ticket. That makes sense. I mean, it makes sense as in, you know, you can't have that big of a prize and that big of a contest without somebody trying to pull something over somebody else's eyes. You know what I mean? I just don't want Charlie to get his hopes up again because my heart cannot take his heartbreak again. No way. Because I was about to say, if this movie fakes me out again, I can't take it. Oh, I'm so excited for Charlie. I congratulate you, little boy. Why is this man following all the golden ticket winners everywhere? Oh, we're doing some undercover gobstopper retrieval. And that's why he's been talking to everybody, because he wants to get his hands on one. And I guess because he keeps talking to everybody, no other kid has taken him up on this offer. You're pulling our legs, Charlie. That's your reaction? Oh, they clearly don't know the fifth one was a fake. Okay. Says I can take somebody with me. I wish you could go. What an awkward position he just put everybody else in the room in. Ah, uh, help me up. My guy, I don't think you can make it to the factory. You stand it. Look at me. I'm looking. I'm, I'm seeing you. I haven't done this in 20 years. He's been in that bed for 20 years? So he's going to break out into song as soon as he gets out? Good for him. I really did not know that this movie had this much music in it. Editing Ashley, have fun with this one. Editing Ashley here. It's still easier than Rocky Horror Picture Show. Now you might want to sit up straight, you're going to get yourself dizzy. You're going to mess around, you're going to hurt yourself, and you're not going to be able to go. Your mother works too damn hard on that laundry for y'all to just be throwing shit in the floor like that. Wow, that slid about to show all your jingle jangle, sir. It says the 1st of October, that's tomorrow. Oh, y'all better, better get on it. The way home today, I ran into Mr. Slugworth. Oh, I forgot about the undercover mission we got going, too. I forgot about that. Hi, hi Maggie, hi, Oh, he's all about the TV now that his westerns ain't on. For heaven's sake, this is my show. I respect that. You know what? But they should give um, a backstory as to why his opponent or his competitor has a score the scar on his face. Okay, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I guess excited. It's not always nervous. I guess this is excitement. Are you good, Willy Wonka? Look at Gene Wilder. That purple coat makes his blue eyes pop. But he doesn't seem too happy. Like, he's not very excited. you think he created this competition. He would be excited about it all. I don't know why I find him so attractive, but he is. You can file that under things I did not see coming. I think you will. And now, would you please show me your golden... Something is off about him. He's not what I thought this would be. Lovely mink coat. I've got three others at home. And Mr... Okay, bougie. In such fine shape. <laughs> Call on Sam B. Phone number's on the... He doesn't leave the factory. Why would he need a card? Your card for a car. Well, you're dead. Wonderful to meet you, Mike. Okay, so Mike's gonna be a serial killer. Enjoyed, enraptured, entranced. Are we ready? So many sentinels. What a big adventure we're on right now. I'm so excited. And there he goes to disappear for another hundred years and nobody will hear from him. Yo, Augusta's shorts are short. So much time and so little to see. So much time and so little to see. <laughs> Strike it, reverse it. Is this movie where that saying's from? <laughs> little surprises around every corner, but- Those are real hands. Accident. Loss of property, happen? life or limb? My broker don't sign anything either. Then she don't go in. I mean, you're kind of held hostage at this point. Guy signed his wife's insurance policy. Then he bumped her off. Well. <laughs> this guy. Hey, there is no other door. 
Oh, I would simply freak out. I don't think I'm claustrophobic, but I would not like being stuck in there with all them people. Come on, Violet, we're getting out of here. Through what other door? Edible. I mean, you can eat almost everything. He said almost everything. What can't you eat there? The chocolate room. The tiny door became a big door. This is so interesting. Wow. And he said almost everything is edible. I'd be eating everything. I'd be taking a bite out of every single object in that room. Is that Gene Wilder's real voice? Oh, a little fancy footwork. I love that. <laughs> I'd let Gene Wilder pull my hair. I can't believe I just said that. How fun this must have been to film. Oh my God, a gummy bear tree? Oh, absolutely, sign me up. Oh, ooh, no thanks. I'll pass on that one, she can have that. I just love him. And like him singing, I just love him. <gasps> They're little buttercups. They're buttercups. Nice. Now he never went over what wasn't edible. That's chocolate. That's chocolate. I was gonna say there's two reactions to that and I would have Charlie's. They're little men. Jumping crocodile oh. Charlie. These are the Oompa Loompas, right? A wang doodle would eat 10 of them for breakfast. Oh my they? God, not a wang doodle. I hear those are vicious. The Mrs. Knids. Mm -hmm. What kind of rubbish is that? Wow, you don't know what those are? uncultured swine. Don't do that. My chocolate must never be touched by human hands. By human hands? What who, What are the Oompa Loompas then? That's churning. That's gonna be made into chocolate. Now your body's in it. Then they do something. Help. Please. <laughs> Too late. He's had it now. The suction's got him. What's... The suction's got him. There's no better time to learn. This is cool, going... There's no better time to learn to swim than when you're, you know, drowning. Suspense is terrible. He, he's gonna go this time. I hope it'll last. <laughs> okay, so is Willy Wonka like crazy? <laughs> or her little boy's liable to get poured into the boiler. Oh no. Are we ever gonna see them again? Oompa Loompa. Why is this so fun? You know that person had to audition for that one singular solo at the end. <laughs> Oh my god, we have a chocolate boat! First, and that means Veruca. If she's a lady, I'm a vermicious knit. Oh my god, I hope that kid goes away soon. I can't stand that little girl. I just remember that Willy Wonka said that his chocolate can't be touched by human hands, and it just makes me wonder what the Oompa Loompas are then. Bidding's a dirty habit. I know a worse one. Oh, that's so funny. Jean said, I know a worse one. That's hilarious! Oh my God, I would give my left kidney to be on a boat in a chocolate river staring at Gene Wilder. Is this like Miss Frizzle's school bus? <laughs> a chicken just got decapitated. Why? You wanna know something? Gene Wilder singing in this moment is not comforting. Oh, sure. Oh, that was like a weird acid trip for everybody, huh? Listen, the only people who knew German are now in the fudge room, so. This would have been so fun to film. And 2% butterscotch ripple. That's 105%. I was gonna say, I'm not good at math. That's a lot more than 100%. Lovers love the spring. So Gene Wilder's a little crazy. No? It's not full. Gives it a little kick. Because it was cleats. Too cold. Far too cold. So he gives it a jacket because it's cold. Would you like to see? <gasps> That's the meme. That's the meme. You know they got like three people in there moving stuff around. Just to make it look like a working machine. You can suck them and suck them and suck them and they'll never get any smaller. Never. I want to make it that's what she said joke. As long as you all shall live. Agreed? Oh, she kept her fingers. Oh, she a liar. This is just so much fun. I just can't get over how much fun this set had to be, you know? Scum! Wrong! It's the most... Im the way he said, wrong! Hey, the second course is coming up. Roast beef and a baked potato. Oh, I love roast beef. Fine cream, it's this? Why well, I don't think it was a blonde girl? This is it. This is what I know. Somebody do something! Call a doctor! Stick her with a pin! Show pop. Stick her with a pin! <laughs> I would have done that. I really feel like this movie was created to, to make kids stop eating so much candy because this is terrifying. Well, well, well. Too naughty. I feel like Jean's hair gets crazier and crazier as we progress. 
Grandpa, this banana is fantastic. Oh, except could you imagine just looking all over the wallpaper and then you move out and the next family comes in? They berries. The snozberries the... taste like snozberries. I've heard that. You're going to be wild about this next room. Who's going to do it? Charlie, no! Y'all ain't learned nothing from the other kids. Y'all going too high too fast. Y'all finna be hit by that fan that's up at the top if you're not careful. See? See? I, I remember that fan. Like whenever they looked up when they first entered the room, I noticed it. And y'all getting real close. Oh, burp and you can go down. <coughs> so in theory, you could fart your way down as well. From now on, we keep our feet on the ground. And your hands to yourself. The geese are very temperamental. That's why we Yeah, the and I've been attacked by a goose before. I just... Listen, I don't want to abuse kids. I'm very much against that. But I would punch her in the face. Editing Ashley here. Punch the character, not the actual child. I'm sure you got that, but I felt the need to clarify. <laughs> I mean, she was a bad egg. She was not the best egg. And I hope I never see her again. Oh. Well, there you go. Both bad eggs. Apple doesn't far fall from the tree. Did I say that right? Spot like the Siamese cat. I was gonna say not all cats are spoiled, but I'm not the one to talk to about that. Well, we still have each other. I cannot wait to find out what happens to Cowboy Man. Places, please, the dance is Wonka Mobile? Is this gonna be even better than the boat? Uh, you know what? Oh my god, that would be so much fun. I would give anything to have been in this movie. So I said to myself, if they can do it with a photograph, why can't I do it with a bar of chocolate? I love that he has his top hat on top of his little bodysuit. It's flying over our heads in a million pieces. Okay, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's perfect. Now hold on, we saw on the fly that when you teleport something, it ain't, it could really mess up. Anything you like. What about people? Oh, don't do it. I just referenced the fly. Don't do it. Look at me, everybody. I'm the first person in the world to be sent by television. You also gonna be the first person to die from it. Nobody's gonna hear about this. She, <laughs> she picked him up like this. No, no, I won't hold you responsible. <gasps> oh no. Well, and they did sign a waiver. Okay, their little fuzzy balls on their on their shoes remind me of the fuzzy ones on it. Stairs, you'll find the way. I'm terribly busy. Whole day wasted. Goodbye to you. Bo Whole day wasted. That is so funny. And he's just gonna leave? This is like a legitimate office. Only half a clock. Oh, it's to signify he never finishes anything. Just like he didn't finish the tour. Good day, sir. I've seen that on a on a gift before, but that makes me so sad. Oh yeah, he could make a shit ton of money from the other dude who wants the gobstopper. But no, Charlie's a good kid and he's gonna do the right thing. I knew you would! I just knew you would! This was all a test? And up until now, I've pressed them all. Except one. Everything has been a trap so far, and so I'm a little nervous about Charlie pressing this button. So we just get a little bird's eye view of the city. Well that, green screen, is magnificent. I think it's the most wonderful place in the whole world. Yeah, other than watching his peers die. He lived happily ever after. <gasps> Aww, stop! What a weird little moment! Alright, let's talk about it. Well, well, well. I have officially seen Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. He killed those kids, didn't he? <laughs> those kids never got back out. <laughs> Does it say it in the book? Hold on. Oh, okay, so in the book, they go to Charlie's house in the glass elevator. On the way, they encountered Augustus being squeezed thin, Violet still indigo in her face, e even being squeezed in the juicing room, Veruca and her parents covered with garbage, so at least they didn't get incinerated, Mike stretched 10 feet tall in a taffy puller after they've arrived. They take the whole family back to the chocolate factory where they live out the rest of their days. Okay, so at least the kids didn't die. But that's very funny. I wonder why they didn't include that in this movie. Well, y'all, I finally seen it. And I'm just gonna let you know it was beautiful. I did not realize there was that much mu- I didn't, you know. Every movie has a soundtrack, of course. I did not realize this was slightly a musical. Also, Gene Wilder singing. I don't think I said anything during that part because I was just letting his... <sighs> I was just taking it in. I was just letting it happen. And can we take a moment to remember that I made Gene Wilder pulling my hair a joke? Sometimes I wonder what the hell's wrong with me. Not my problem. Finally made it to 
Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and I just think it's the cutest little movie. I'm really glad that I looked up that the kids weren't dead because I really thought they just left the kids to die in this movie. I didn't expect the elevator because when I saw that his office was full of like half done things I was like oh same. I do that all the time. I'll start a pro project and then like not finish it. I thought this was just another thing that he started and then didn't finish but it turns out it was all a test. Also, Scarface guy, I thought he was going to be Christopher Lloyd. If you think about it, just a little bit. Like, don't pull up a side-by-side. -side. If you pull up a side-by-side, -side, it'll give it away. If you just picture Christopher Lloyd in your face a little bit, he does kind of look like Christopher Lloyd. I wish I had a dollar for every time I said Christopher Lloyd in that sentence. Oh, my heart. Five out of five stars. This is such a cute movie. His family was so poor. Like, he worked his newspaper route to afford a loaf of bread. And that is precious. He was the most selfless kid so it's so good that he got the ticket and then like good for him you know not diving headfirst in the chocolate river. I mean he took a couple sips of the bubble soda but they burped and got it all out so that's fine and he thought he was gonna get all that money for having the gobstopper and then he's like you know what I'm not gonna do that and gave it back and he won the grand prize and I just love that. Not only did he win a lifetime supply of chocolate he got a whole new place for his family to live and I think that is beautiful. See, this kind of feel-good ending, this is what I wanted in Rocky. Five out of five stars. Gene Wilder, of course, has my heart and always will. I love that man. Y'all never really steer me wrong, do you? And neither does Gene Wilder. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, stick around, because this Friday kicks off Naked Gun. It's another millennial movie member request, and TJ has confirmed that he will be requesting the sequels moving forward. So I will complete the trilogy, but we get started this Friday with the first Naked Gun. Stick around a little bit longer and, or a while longer, please. <laughs> Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeiverse. And I guess I'll see you right back here on Friday.